Come with me to my first Korean wedding in Seoul. Yes, everything was in Korean. We arrived at Benelli Garden. Oh my gosh, this outdoor venue is beautiful. There's even a fountain, and it was kind of chilly, so we all buttoned up. This is my first time seeing the ceremony aisle with the reception. And before we all sat down, there were donuts and a sweet platter, even a photo booth, and of course, my beautiful Korean friends. So happy for them. The photo is printed, and you can write a message for the bride and groom. I can feel the love without understanding the language. When it is time for the groom to go, everyone clapped, and the ring bearers were so, so cute. In Korean culture, the bride has to bow and the groom has to kneel to express their thankfulness and respect to their parents and guests. Honestly, it was such an honor to witness this part of my friend's culture. We also had chanji koksu, symbolizes for longevity in life and in marriage. I learned that typically Korean weddings last one to two hours max, but my friends westernized it a little bit and added some singing, and I felt like I was in a K drama. The wedding ended around 8, and it was so smart that the florist was there to wrap up all the flowers into bouquets for guests to bring home. While the after party food setup was 